When in a clinch, the fighter will have one arm inside, one arm outside. Fighter will take the opponent's knee on the side of the outside arm. Fighter will then push up on the opponent's elbow and slide arm over to get the body lock. Then fighter will step back to separate from opponent to set up knee to body to sweep takedown. Opponent will have one hand on the back of fighter's head. Fighter will come over the same arm and push against opponent's face with both hands. Step back and knee. When clinching with opponent, fighter will take hand and wrap it around opponent's neck. Pull down and step back for separation and knee. Fighter wants to have a strong grip around the opponent to control the head. You strong, you power up this. You want to head up, you okay, okay, okay. You cannot, okay? Knee, okay? The fighter can choose to perform a takedown at this point. It's important for the fighter to have a tight grip around the neck. Then step back, knee, then take down. When in the clinch, the fighter will get a lower body lock and knee. Then the fighter will lift opponent up. While lifting one of his legs to opponent's side. Then throw opponent in the opposite direction. When opponent has a body lock and clinch, fighter has to step outside of opponent. Then get the grip hand to the back of the opponent's neck and pull neck towards you for takedown. If opponent doesn't go down, fighter can knee. This technique is interchangeable left or right. Ah. 
When opponent attempts to knee body, the fighter will take the arm and scoop under knee attempt. Fighter should not scoop over the knee or the technique will not be effective. Fighter should then drive his leg on the side of the opponent's planted leg into his thigh to take the opponent down. Fighter should not drop scoop hand until opponent attempts the knee. Hand down. While you wait, wait, while you lock this. When in clinch, fighter will want his hands inside with one hand around the opponent's neck. Fighter will then pull the opponent's head down and towards him with the other hand and then throw a slide elbow. While opponent is kneeling, pull head down and elbow with the other arm. Fighters should pull opponent's head down before elbowing. Fighter will throw body kick. Opponent will block. Next, fighter will fake body kick to low kick under opponent's block to hit opponent other leg. Fighter will want to kick the inside shin. Kicking the inner thigh will not be as effective. When catching a head kick, fighter needs to catch the kick with both arms. As he catches, the fighter wants to push leg up. Step forward with the same leg and kick low with other leg for sweep. When catching the kick, fighter wants to block his face with inside arm. Then push up on opponent's leg, take step, and then low kick. After you throw a body kick, opponent may try to knee. To defend this, 
fighter can simply turn knee leg inside towards opponent. Fighter will punch body, knee body, the same side, step outside with the knee leg, and then slide elbow. You knee, two, and step, and you elbow. You want punch, body, knee body, and elbow. Fighters should perform technique quickly. This will result in numerous knockouts. This has been uh, many, many, many KO. Punch, head, First throw a straight punch, next uppercut, then step out to low kick. Fighter has to take outside step. If the fighter fails to take a step, opponent will be in range to counter. Maybe you lose KO, you not lose It's one, two, one, two, Again, remember to take outside step so opponent cannot counter. When the fighter throws a head kick, opponent will lean back. Then return with a front kick before bringing the leg back down. Fighter will first throw body kick and opponent will block. Fighter will then fake body kick and step past opponent's blocking leg. With your same side arm, push across the opponent's body and at the same time trip opponent. When the fighter fakes kick and steps, Make sure you step past opponent for sweep to be effective. This technique works well against tall fighters. In the clinch, fighter wants to have inside control. When opponent throws knee, fighter will block by lifting leg and resting it on opponent's inner thigh. Fighter will then pull himself above opponent's head and down elbow. Block knee, pull yourself above opponent's head and down elbow. And 
Fighter will block kick and simultaneously grabbing opponent's leg with same side arm. Fighter will then switch opponent's leg to other arm while pulling leg up. Then step inside and low kick to sweep. Block, catch leg and lift. Then take one step inside and with the other leg kick the back of the calf. Fighter will kick the body, opponent will block. Fighter then fakes body kick, plants leg in center of opponent, then twists the body slightly to kick other side of opponent's body, then brings leg back to starting position and kicks body again. Fighter will kick the body. Opponent will block. Fighter then fakes body kick, plants leg in center of opponents. Then twists body slightly to kick the other side of the opponent's body. Then brings the leg back to starting position and kicks the body again. Fighter will slide to outside and throw a side kick. Then when opponent tries to advance, throw other side kick. Fighter must snap kick to generate power. A push kick will be ineffective. When opponent throws a body kick, fighter wants to step outside and at the same time catch the kick. Then throw away opponent's leg and return with a body kick. When fighter catches the kick and throws away, opponent's back will be turned. This will give the fighter the choice to kick back or head or leg. One, back, two, leg, three, head. Next, up to you. Up. 
If opponent catches fighter's body kick, you will twist, kicking leg to the outside and pull away at the same time. This kick is not easy to perform. Fighters should only attempt this kick after catching opponent's body kick. Once fighter catches the kick, quickly push back on opponent's leg and swing same leg to outside. And plant hand on the mat and throw a cartwheel kick. Fighter's balance is an important part of footwork. Fighter should never cross feet. This will leave you off balance and out of position to strike. Fighter should keep legs about shoulder width apart and stay relaxed to keep proper balance. Stomach, no, 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 no